what you want to say about that? So, um, my name is Soraya and I'm from Johannesburg, South Africa. I live in Chicago and I uh, started an organization one year ago called Color Me Africa Fine Arts and we are a nonprofit and we represent artists from South Africa and we focus on the formerly disenfranchised South Africa who did not have an opportunity to exhibit their work during apartheid in galleries, who weren't given art instruction, in fact not allowed to get art instruction in, a, in their education. Mostly missions were brought, to, who came to South Africa provided that. Many of the artists I represent are um, self-taught artists and um, we discovered that even today, dealers were going to the townships and buying the art for nothing yeah. and selling it in the galleries for a fortune. And so we decided to create this organization so we can shut them down and highlight the problem, educate our artists, teach them business, teach them how to negotiate their prices, and we want to make sure their names and faces are known. So the art doesn't just leave the country and then the artists aren't known. So our organization exists primarily so that they are able to, we can bring them and do art exhibitions for them. So next year we will have some of these artists at the Harlem Fine Art Show in New York. The, the visual presence the of vis the art. The, and right. we want them here. You, didn't, you, didn't, you just brought the artwork this time. The, the, they brought the artwork. Oh. We had them here. Okay. And then we, they left the artwork for me ah, to continue on. Okay. Uh, okay, I'm going to just take Thank some... Thank you. Uh, so this one here, for example, his name is Moses Masoko. He used to work in the mines of South Africa. And his work is uh, transformed over the years, and he's considered our black Picasso. And I actually have... Looks like Picasso. The last one style. left is this yeah. one here. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. Anything about any of the others before I move on? Do you mind? Okay, thank you. This artist here, when he was 13 years old, he painted Mandela's face on his t-shirt and he was arrested for doing that because Mandela's face was banned in South Africa. Mm. I met him here in America because he was then sent by the ANC Youth League to study abroad. We did a show with him, but he was only doing abstracts. And then we had him come out. They were, we were invited to talk about the, what it meant for us to vote. And at that discussion, panel discussion, people never knew Mandela's face was banned. It was treasonous. Mm -hmm. And he was arrested at 13 and disappeared for six months for doing that. Wow. Okay? Yeah. traumatized him so when he discussed it at the panel discussion he never expected to talk about it mm. and discovered that he never ever talked about it oh. so when it we have been quite a trauma it was yeah. and so when he 20 when we celebrated our 20 year democracy and you see that poster we invited the poster. him yeah, yeah we invited him over on. to come and talk yeah and uh, he painted 20 of those and we sold all of them. That's the only one I have left. Oh, that's great. Yeah. So these two bo boats are your... Uh, All three of them. All three? Yeah. Okay. Thank you. Are we done? Right. We are done. <laughs> I'll get some of the other people. Yep. Yeah, thank Thanks you. a lot. Thank you. 